Hello, my name is Miss Stott and I'm the assistant head teacher in charge of teaching excellence and digital learning. So it's basically my job at the college to make sure your online curriculum and everything you do in the classroom helps you make really good academic progress and prepare for the world once you leave us at the end of year 11. Um, at Foy River Academy, what you'll notice about our curriculum is two key things. Firstly, we're a digital school, which means all students are given iPads and we do a lot of lessons using online learning techniques. And secondly, we follow the high performance learning philosophy, which is where we're treating everybody as a high performance learner. And that means in the classroom, we're teaching all lessons to the top end of mark schemes and then using blended learning and classroom strategies to make sure everybody can access that curriculum. So what will that actually look like for you in year seven? I'm joined now by Mrs. Osborne, head of science, and Mr. Waters, who's going to be your head of year. And they're going to do a little bit of a tour through their science area to show you what that will actually look like when you join us here next September. In science, we've designed our curriculum so that students link their learning to the world around them. This is our scheme of work in year seven, where you will start off by exploring the invisible world, go on to a polar expedition, learn about science at home, and then the impact of humans on our lovely blue planet. So if I take you into the invisible world, um, and in there, they have been learning about solutions and separating substances. So when we look in that folder, all the invisible world information is there. Um, each week, lesson by lesson, you can see what they're going to do. So if we look in our filtration and evaporation lesson there, you can see what the students have been up to. So this week they have been filtering and evaporating water. Um, as scientists, we also like to do a lot of practical work. So any lesson where we can give them the skills to um, perform some practical work and practice that, um, we try to get in there. One thing our science department uh, uses really well is an app called Seesaw where we can give additional help, information, marking and feedback um, on the work that the students are doing. And I'm going to hand you over to Mr Waters so that he can explain a bit about the Seesaw app. As Mrs Osborne said, this here is Seesaw and Seesaw is accessible through the iPads um, for both teachers and students and also available for um, parents to be involved as well so they can see some of the feedback coming back from teachers. Now there's a couple of reasons I really really like Seesaw and we're using it widely throughout the school. Firstly is through differentiation and differentiation through bl blended learning so um, often now our young people uh, find it most easiest to learn through things like videos if they needed to understand something often YouTube is the first place they go to so in my lessons I'm using a huge amount of videos so um, tutorials explaining how to carry out practicals and actually that's really beneficial to both our auditory and visual learners right once you've collected your Bunsen burner okay first thing you need is a heat proof map okay so we're not going to watch the whole of that video however uh, I did want to showcase another reason we are loving seesaw right now because we're teaching to the top and we're a high performance learning school um, it's really important that we set the bar high and rather than setting the bar low for um, various students so they can actually complete a task easier instead we're still setting those really ambitious tasks but what we're doing is we're building in the framework and the support to help them uh, getting there and actually some of that's through the feedback they're receiving so this is another where I've got a student here who created or set up a practical and I'm able to give a really specific differentiated feedback so they can progress. Your diagram is very good but does need labels so thermometer etc. Okay so there are a couple of examples from year seven but you know this is not an approach we're only using with the lower school it becomes increasingly important when we also start looking at other year groups. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, um, Mr. Waters and Mrs. Osborne, for sharing that in science. What we're going to do now is we're going to go over to Matt. Learning and Teach the Top works in that department. Hi, I'm Mrs. Miller. I'm head of maths at Foy River Academy. Um, I want to show you uh, some of the apps that we use in maths to help our students. Um, a few different things that we use. Firefly is something that everybody uses across the school. Um, the obvious advantage of Firefly is that you have um, lesson by lesson, every single lesson, every single week uh, online, which means if a student is absent for any reason, they can access the resources. What it also means, um, which is especially useful for maths, is that we can make sure that everything is very individualised and set at a learning pace that suits everybody. So for example, 
uh, in some VAR lessons. So this is a year seven lesson. They have a do now task when they first come in. And then these are some questions that I've set for my pupils to see how much they can do. Those people who can already do this then can go straight to a challenge sheet, which is set up below. So they'll move straight onto that on their iPads. And that means that they can move at their own pace, a nice fast pace, whilst I spend time with the rest of the class, making sure that they understand everything that we're covering before we do some practice working together throughout. So Firefly is one that I think is a really uh, nice thing to use. It was especially useful for us during lockdown because um, pupils could access the lesson straight away. Um, they didn't need to ask for us to send lesson by lesson. It was all there for them for the week. Um, and we can tell them what they need to do, give them homework, and they can upload work to it as well. So it's brilliant. So the next thing that I'd like to show you is MathSwatch, which is something that we use for students for their homeworks. So um, I've logged in as a student. I made up a little year six student here and I've set some work for this student. So as they fill in their answers, you can see they've put a, an answer in here, which actually isn't the correct answer. When they've submitted, the correct answers will turn green and the ones that are not correct will stay blue so they can see they've made a mistake up here as well they can see they're missing marks so they can work through questions and they can move forwards and backwards between them so they can come back if they need any help and then alongside every single set of questions there is a video clip for support so if any of the students moved on to this question here for example on coordinates and they weren't sure how to do it they can watch the corresponding clip here and that would go through um, just a quick video of how to read these coordinates and how to answer a question like this. So when they're doing the homework, they have extra support as needed. Now, once they've done their homework, I'm going to log out of that one and log in as me now. Once they've done their homework, then they can um, submit it. And when I look at my homework, then I can see from my side exactly how much this student has done and I can give them instant feedback and comments. So, uh, the third thing that I'd like to show you today is SumDog. Now, um, possibly your child or um, if you're a year six student, you yourself have used SumDog before to show you guys. So the nice thing about this is you can click on it and you can play lots of different games. So you can pick your game and play those. You'll each get your individual accounts to go on there. And then when you click on it, you can play against the whole world. So that means any other student who goes online could also play that game against you. So you can play against them. You can play against the people in your class. So if we decide in a lesson, you can go on to some dog for a 10 minute starter or at the end of the lesson, then you could play against other people or you can just play against a robot. So the computer. So I've clicked to play against the world. So that means that means that somebody will be um, logging on and I'll be able to play against them. So obviously for maths, we'd go on there and then you'll have a game to play. So I don't know what game I've hit. I'm driving a car and I've got to answer these questions in order to be faster than some dog over there. So Thank you very much, Mrs. Miller. And finally, let's find out what the students actually think about the new method of learning. So how have you found iPads have improved your learning? So they've improved our learning because we have Firefly and it has all our work for the lesson. So some people can jump ahead and some people who find it frustrating can ask Miss and Miss can put it on the board so they can work for it together. Um, how do you think iPads has helped your education? Well, for me, I have dyspraxia and I'm allowed to type all my stuff onto the iPads instead of writing it down. And it's also really good for f like Photoshop and iMedia or photography. Like I just made this, it's my doc. So it's really good help for everything really. How's iPads helped your education? Uh, they've helped quite a lot in terms of accessing Firefly, which is the website we use to do all our homework and lessons. Uh, before we had to use computers and do it from home, which is a lot more difficult, but now we have iPads that made it a lot easier. Also with homework, now we can take photos of uh, the, what the homework actually is and then send it into our teachers. So that made a difference. So overall, would you say school is better with iPads? Yes, yes definitely. It's very much improved. 